we've got, okay, none of this is lavender colored yet. Okay, there we go. It looks like something that I'm mushing to my pores. I have no idea yet. Okay, this is February 2019 and I'm a 30-something year old woman just really learning makeup for the first time in my life. So I'm going to show you what I bought on my first day of purchasing makeup bits and I did sign up for BoxyCharm and I ordered some things on e.l.f. online too because they were really well priced but this is kind of what I found in the store at Ulta and some other places. I already unboxed this in a different video but I didn't really plan to get this. This was just a free gift with purchase thing so I won't get too deep into that. I'll spill it all out at the end. But to get said free gift with purchase, I did buy the Makeup Setting Spray and the Poreless Face Primer by Ulta Beauty. So we'll see how that goes learning it. And then at Walmart, I found this On Point Tri-Tip Brow Marker. I'm not completely sure what it was, but I thought for $2.50 I would give it a try. And then this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Color Correction. I've seen these in a lot of stores. I don't really know what color correction is. Trying to get it open here. It's in lavender whatever it is. I know it's something about putting it on your skin, but that's about as far as I know. I've got to get my makeup savvy friend to tell me about it, but again for three dollars, why not try it? We've got... okay. None of this is lavender colored yet. Okay, there we go. It looks like something that I'm mushing to my pores. I have no idea yet. I'm just a geek, so my demand is high enough. I don't really have to worry about trying to be cutesy pretty. These two things I believe I found at Meyer, and that's in Argan oil infused sponge applicator which my friend said I needed sponges they were gonna be the most important thing ever and this incredibly cute Katy Perry covergirl lip gloss I think lip gloss or they never say okay yeah gloss so it's a lip gloss not a lipstick I was gonna say most of these things never say what they are and it's hard to guess this color is cantaloupe and it is a little bit more sticky less gloss so to me this wears more like a lipstick but that's up to you to decide oh and then also at Myers, I found this for mostly my daughter she looks nail polish but it's jelly bean and sally henson bunny and sunny bubblegum and buttered popcorn scented nail polish for easter but oh how cute it was eight dollars for the pair and let me just kind of open it up and sniff it yeah, I can definitely get a little bubblegummy scent over the huge amount of nail polish scent. Let's try this buttered popcorn. Yeah, I don't smell buttered popcorn with that. Maybe these aren't scented. Maybe that's just the color because I'm a crazy person not realizing that uh, why would you want scented nail polish? It dries hard. It's not like it's going to be moist and you can smell it the whole time. Okay, so yeah, now that I'm looking at the box, I don't see anywhere that says that this is scented. So I'm just crazy. Still really cute though. And then at Target, I got a Wet n Wild bronzer collection in Palm Beach Ready, I guess. I think that's what the shade is. And an NYX Three Steps to Sculpt Face Sculpting Palette because I had nothing like either of these. And at Target I also got this, focus, Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water, which I don't know what exactly that is. It's from Wet n Wild, but it looked like something I might want to try out. I don't know if that's the same as primer or as setting spray, but I doubt it since it's called something else. Now onto the Dollar Tree portion of this haul. Finding out that most of my brushes aren't good anymore, I got these four different ones from the Dollar Tree. And of course they were a dollar each because that's their deal at a Dollar Tree. And these are all by Wet n Wild. I'm going to open one or two of these to kind of test out how they feel. This is the small eyeshadow brush. Let me turn down the lighting so you can see the colors on this better. But yeah, this is much softer than the brushes I've been using. And I was also recently told I'm supposed to be washing my brushes. Like what? Wait, I gotta go get a brush cup. Here we go, perfect. I'm gonna use my Disney Store Collector Cup for the Sleeping Beauty Designer Fairy Tale Couples Collection since I'm afraid to use this to actually drink out of. It's like I can't replace it and it's a collectible. But yeah, this one also says small eyeshadow brush, but the print colors were different here and the brushes themselves are ever so slightly different at the top. So I figured for a dollar I would get both. And then this is a large concealer and a large eyeshadow brush. So since I'm starting with zero brushes, I've just been and buying up all the ones I can afford because oh my gosh brushes cost some serious money yo but these are actually really soft so I'm really happy with them for the price and then finally I got what was gonna be my drawer makeup caddy so I could just put everything in there and then lift it out when I wanted to use the makeup and it's really cute but it is kind of 
flimsy plastic. You can see me bending it with my thumb, just barely putting any pressure on it. And even though my husband swore up and down that this would fit in our bathroom drawers, it does not. So now I got this thing to just set things in aimlessly and have no home. Marie Kondo would be so ashamed. Oh, and I said I would go through this bag really quickly just to show you guys what was in it. We've got a lot of different samples. Here is an eye palette, makeup remover palettes, a little tiny spongy blotter. Three of the strangest hair ties I've ever seen. A Verona shade of liquid lipstick. This one looks full size. I don't think that's a sample. Then a pixie dust highlighter. What is this? Oh, color stick. I would have called it a crown. And then face primer, matte eye primer. Festival colored, what are you again? Lip crown, ultimate lashes mascara, and a super nice, super fluffy cheek brush. All of which is the Ulta Beauty brand because that's their promo for this, what, month, quarter, however they do those. So yeah, guys, you'll have to let me know in the comments if I did well at all for my first day of randomly picking up odds and ends of makeup. I still have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm hopeful and I'm trying. So that's like half the battle, right? Right? Okay, if nothing else, I have the cutest brush cup in the world. Thanks everybody for watching. You've been listening to McGann Ramble On and I'll see you next time.